Hello, hello, welcome to another episode of Inglês de Nicru Rádio. I'm your co-host, Alexia Souza, and I'm here with... Foster. Yes, that's, that's you. That's you. So, Foster, I had an idea to do this episode today because last week when we were doing a live... Yeah, sure. I'm not very good with the Instagram vocabulary. Okay, so... It's your show, babe. Run with it. <laughs> on Instagram, I started to talk, I don't know why, about signs, signos, right? Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? You could say signs. Signs also work for like stop signs or like sinais. Mm -hmm. You could also say horoscopes. Okay, about our horoscope. Yeah. That's because I think it was right before my birthday, and then one girl asked, like, oh, my God, two scorpions together. Whoa. And I started <laughs> to talk about it, and everyone was super into it, and I forgot how Brazilians love to talk about horoscope. Horoscopes. Horoscopes. Yeah. So I guess I should just say at the beginning, I don't really know almost I really don't know anything about horoscopes. I'm not even exactly sure what my sign is because I remember when I was a little kid, my birthday is October 23rd. So it's like right on the deadline of one or the other. So I think I'm a scorpion now, but originally I was something else. It changed at some point. No. Uh, yeah. So I used to believe in horoscopes a lot. <laughs> Now, not anymore, and I'll explain why. Okay. Can I also say one thing? Yeah. I know that I'm going to offend a lot of Brazilians <laughs> right now. Don't take it personally. It's just my opinion. I'm an idiot. So, <laughs> just take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, so... Do you know that phrase? Good phrase. What? Take it with a grain of salt. Take it... Okay. Do you understand that? I do, but I never heard that. What do you understand? Um, <laughs> I tipo, love what Alexia says. She knows something and she doesn't. Trate com meio que com carinho, tipo assim, entenda que... Nope. What? <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt is you should have a healthy dose of suspicion or you necessarily should not believe everything I'm saying or it's just my opinion and it's probably wrong. Okay. It's a good phrase. Okay. Cool. <laughs> So, a long time ago, I used to read every day my horoscope and learn what would be for the Scorpion Day and what it was planned for that month or week or mm -hmm. whatever. Did you read this in the newspaper? No. Okay. I just remember at least when I was a younger child, they always had the horoscopes in the newspaper. Yes, but I used to read when I was a young girl at a magazine called Capricho. <laughs> And yeah, but okay, I was young, very young. So I was reading just because. But when I was working at Porta, all my friends, all my girls, <laughs> we used to talk about it every single day. And we used to be part together from a website that would send us an email with your planned month because of your astral map. <laughs> you could say astral map. I would, in this case, just say because of your sign. So when you're talking about horoscopes, you can say signs, but I think it needs to be There needs to be a little bit of clarification that that's what you're talking about. But it wasn't only about being a scorpion. It was about the whole map. Yeah, yeah. So is it a horoscope as well? Oh, then if you're talking about astral map, I think we would just say, I don't, yeah, I think that's a good way to say it. Honestly, I'm not too well versed in this topic. <laughs> And this is Alexia's episode. I had no preparation. So again, <laughs> forgive me. All of you crazy <laughs> believers out there. And also, like eight years ago, more or less, my mom used to go to a guy in Gavia that it was supposed to be the guru. Yeah. 
This is a good thing to think about a pronunciation difference. If you say guru, we say guru. Guru. <laughs> it's pretty simple. If you want to speak like an American, just really exaggerate all of your vowel sounds. Rio de Janeiro, guru. <laughs> yes. So it was a kind of guy that my mom used to go and he would tell her, oh, I see a lot of water and something's going to happen with your life, maybe a professional life that involves a lot of water. And then my mom would get home and she would be freaking out about it. Like, is someone going to die, uh, dive in and like die Hit their head because on of a rock that? Or something. Yeah. Yes. Is so, this like a. Like a tarot card reader? Do they are they reading cards or yes. like a palm reader? Yeah, cards most of the time. No, most time. Most time. <laughs> In most that time. case, you'd say most of the time. Ah, I hate this so much. So, like, you know, if you really hate something about your English, you could just learn it and then not do it anymore. Okay, so let's continue because this is my episode. <laughs> that doesn't mean I don't correct you. <laughs> It's my episode. So one week later, after this guy telling her a lot about water, the restaurant that my parents used to have um, had a, a broken water pipe. Right. And it was all underwater. Like the whole restaurant was a mess. Mm -hmm. And my dad, of course, he would never, ever believe at this guy, you would... Believe in this guy. Believe in this guy. You would always say like, Aninha, this is ridiculous. Why are you going to this guy? Da -da -da. And my mom was like, it makes me feel good. I like it. And he was telling us about this water problem. And, and my dad would say, he could be more specific, right? <laughs> we could. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as humans, we do interact with water on more or less an hourly basis. Yeah. So that's a pretty easy one to debunk. Do you know that word? Debunk. To debunk. It's like to demystify, to disprove. If you debunk like a, a theory or a conspiracy theory. And what's the name of the person that doesn't believe in anything? Is like, uh, it's with A, even in Portuguese, I think. Um, are you referring to... Like religion, like an atheist? No, 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 no. It's when there is pessimist and pessimist and optimist, and okay. and when you like you don't believe that's true, and you are always like questioning things. I forgot the name, mm. but that's my dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure exactly what you're trying to explain. Perhaps an agnostic, which I would not consider your dad at all an agnostic is someone that says oh we don't know what to believe Sachiko. Sachiko. i don't remember okay. okay and then one day i asked my mom can i go to this guy i really want to see how it's like because you're always super happy after and i think that i i was 16 17 years old and i was doing really bad at school I uh, mm -hmm. was very anxious and it was in the middle of my teenage years mm -hmm. and et cetera. And then I went there and he started to read my uh, the cards and he would get things right. But I mean, <laughs> of He's course. Like, I am seeing some frustration. I am seeing a boy. <laughs> an American boy. It, does it start with the letter and then he would say it and was like, oh, how would you know that? Yeah, I'm yes. seeing big obstacles in your future <laughs> that you will overcome. Yeah, but because of him, I started to, to get a lot of homeopathic things. Homeopathic, yeah, like essential oils and stuff. And it was really weird because he would give me like for sexual improvement and what yes and it was super weird and then i showed my mom that and my mom was super annoyed about this fact so you went to a homeopathic doctor and he would and he give was you... an homeopathic doctor okay he was a guru he would give you a guru would give you homeopathic remedies for sexual circumstances yes what the hell <laughs> what the hell exactly 
And I stopped going to this guy, of course. But before that, he would turn to me and say, Alexia, you have a um, boca de bruxa. Mm -hmm. Anything that you say will happen. And then I started to ask for, okay, I want to win at the lottery. I want to start doing a lot of things and nothing would happen. So I was completely like not enjoying anymore this guy at all. So you went to a guru who told you you had a witch's mouth and you needed sexual improvement therapy. And that's when you stopped believing in horoscopes? No. So this was a long time ago. And then once I started working at Porta, I was back... Porta dos Fundos, just yes. to clarify. I was back to this area of horoscopes and mystic things and believing a lot that the way that you were born and the sun and the moon and etc. has a lot to do with your personality. And do you know when you like stop doing things by yourself and you just wait for things to happen because you read at your astral map? Personally, I do not know because I don't believe in that stuff, but yeah, sure. Yes. So I started to felt that I was like... Started to feel? I started to feel that I was like that and doing things like that. And from one day to the other, I completely stopped with everything about horoscopes and etc. Every single thing. I don't even like to open, for example, Globo.com and there is a horoscope part in the bottom right. Mm -hmm. I don't even look at it. I I am completely traumatized by it, by it. And it's so weird. So the thing, the straw that bo broke the camel's back. Do you know that phrase? Full, I don't know how to talk about horoscopes. I'm just trying to give you good fun <laughs> phrases. The straw that broke the camel's back. That is the last thing that really pushed you over the, the edge. The bottom line? Sure. It's like the tipping point. Uh, uh, a gota d'água in our... Sure. Yeah. yeah. So you were feeling like you were just waiting for good things to happen in your life and you were not proactively seeking or approaching those things. Exactly. Dumb because dumb. I was like, okay, if I was born this way and like this way and there is an astral map and everything happens for because of this, okay, I'll just wait. You know, that was my mind at that moment. And I was like, this is so wrong. No, not at all. It's not like that at all. Yeah. I, <laughs> you don't have to tell me two times. And then my mom got sick and I would read her horoscope and it was like, you have fun this month. You'll be meeting someone new. And I was like, no, she's in the hospital <laughs> right now. <laughs> Nothing like that is happening. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's total bullshit, but that's just me. So, if you want, we can record another episode talking about our actual signs. But I feel like I might continue to offend our listeners, which I don't want to do. I think that I just offend a lot of our listening <laughs> listeners. I offended. Huh? I offended. I offended. Past. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to offend people with that pronunciation in the past. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but my question is, do you think that Americans in general, they do believe in that just like resilience you? No. Um, especially our generation, perhaps back in the day when people were reading newspapers a lot and all the, the newspapers had like a weekly horoscope section. Maybe. I don't think so. No, I have zero friends that talk about horoscopes. I would probably imagine that 90% of my friends have no idea what their sign is. And yeah, not a big thing here. Yeah. You don't know nothing about Scorpion sign, right? You don't know anything. Anything. I know nothing. Okay. We can talk about that tomorrow if you want. Okay. So that's it. That's my story for the day. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Alexia. And we will <laughs> talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Muito obrigada por ter escutado mais um episódio aqui do Inglês de Necro Rádio. É muito bom ter você juntinho assim de nós. Faz muito, muito 
carinho no nosso coração, digamos assim. Então você que está interessado em saber mais sobre os nossos produtos e saber mais sobre a gente, o que a gente oferece para vocês em relação a estudo, a challenge, a curso, vá lá no inglêsdenicro.com e você pode ver mais sobre as worksheets, por exemplo. Né? Yeah. If you want to really improve your English, if you want to learn more about the ways you can do that and just connect with us on a deeper level, go to inglesnewcrew.com and as always, keep up the good fight and lose well. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.